In today's video, we're gonna pour some concrete footings and then we're gonna get started on the ICF. So if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment. Tell me how amazing I'm doing. Because, you know, those things I like to hear. And this is a little shot here of Coopville on a non-sunny day. I always take pictures on sunny days. I thought I'd just kind of do a little non-sunny day. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care. So let's get started pouring some footers. You can see the step footers got filled up first. Ended up with a bit of a cold joint there, but that footer's so massive that it just doesn't matter. It's a beautiful spring day here on Woodby Island, and we weren't able to get the big pump truck, so we had to use the little one, and that kind of was a bummer because concrete shoots in at an angle instead of coming straight down, and it's a little harder on the forms. I had a little bit of a blowout down in the deep end. I meant to stick some um, rebar down at the bottom to hold it. Forgot to. I guess it wouldn't be a pour for me if I didn't forget something. In this video we're going to go ahead and start the floor. Um, when I went to school to do ICF buildings we were taught to build the diaphragm for the floor first. And so that's how I've always done it. Oddly enough, on YouTube, I haven't seen one single person do it that way. So I guess I'm old school, old fashioned. I don't know. But it works for me, and so that's what I'll do. I really like being able to line it up perfect, put the sheeting in, and then you don't have to worry about that wall going anywhere. But we'll discuss that later. But starting now, we're going to stack up some forms and get the rim joists in. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This is it for me talking. And away we go. So just a quick update for Ken and Carla. There's the level of the footing in the garage. There's the level of the footing in the house. And I can just show you. It's all stripped. It's all cleaned. I don't know if you remember where things were in the video. There's my lowest corner. You can see the plastic's kind of draped down here and stuck up there. Eventually the plastic will all be draped down and tied into my vapor barrier in good time. There's the footer going up. There's my chair. Y'all have a good day. So we're going to set our very, very first form. New Dura. 18 inches tall, and here it goes. Drum roll. Voila! <laughs> Get too carried away here. We're gonna straighten up some rebar. You can see how this stuff looks good. So. <laughs> just in case you're wondering why these bars are so tall because they're underneath the window it's actually the kitchen window so rather than have that <laughs> splice in there I just went ahead and ran the bars under the windows and doors up to the height that they should be corners 
simply unfold just like this. There's a little piece rubber banded in, broken on this one. The rubber band, not the piece. Slip right in here. pieces I'm sure I'll figure out a fast and easy way to do this by the hundredth time I've done it No, they keep hitting right on the right on the bars. I guess that kind of makes sense if the bars are put in every 32 inches. And I bet these clips are on 32 inch centers or eight inch centers. Oh well, I can deal with it. <laughs> so the cool thing about Nadura is there's no end, there's no top, and there's no bottom. So everything goes every direction. By no end, I meant there's no left-hand side and no right-hand side. Obviously, there's an end. Later on, I'll get a hammer. But don't have a hammer right now. Well, I do, but it's a little overkill. I figure out the trick. Just a quick little update. Since today's the end of my day, I'm gonna go and um, cut some shims. You can see right there, I definitely have to shim that guy up. I believe the writing on the wall there says an inch and a quarter. But then we come to zero right here. This is how I get in and out for the moment. You can see I have the tractor sits 
up there so I can put the forms on the forks and then just get them off the forks as I want them. And at this point in time, I will get it all shimmed up and then I'll put spray foam underneath the bottoms. It's kind of weird working a situation where lines that we snapped on the footers three days ago are still crisp and perfect, not like Juno. Looking at the Simpson Strong Tie ICF VL. When I first got these, I thought you had to put something through the holes, like a piece of rebar, because that's kind of how it looks, but the holes are just for concrete. So the black line I have right here is the bottom of my ledger. So I just take it right here, right here. And there's my mark. When you cut, cut on the outstrokes so you don't fill your form full of debris. And it's that simple. So here's the update for the day. I'm gonna turn around real slowly. I got all those little guys in. It turns out putting them in was a piece of cake. What was not a piece of cake was these guys right here. I'm gonna walk over and show you what I ended up having to do. Because the uh, plastic vents are only six inches. Once you cut the hole, they just fall through. So I had to go and make a little wood, cut it down from rough cut, trim it out and attach it to both sides. And then cut my holes and slip them in there. Man, that's a pain in the butt. But I got, I would say I got a little over half done. Figured I better film the last of my rim joists. This will be the hardest one. This wall right here is one half of an inch shorter than it needs to be just as things went up so i'm not sure if i can get my piece in here or not but we're going to give it a try special cut i actually kind of cheated Instead of making the rim joist a half inch longer, like the measure it said, I made it three eighths. Well, now I'm kind of bummed because I could have easily made it a half an inch. Now then, just to hold it in place so it doesn't fall. Hopefully you can see me. We'll do it right here. the rim joists in place and I'm going to check my measurement. Well, there's our current update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave me a positive comment. Go ahead and subscribe. Tell all your friends. I don't have any friends, so I hope you do. 
we're going to go down to Seattle, have dinner with our son. You guys have a good day. Stinging Nettle Farms, signing out.